So, hello guys, Ram Ram. I know that many of you are giving and preparing for your upcoming online assessment of Agoda for SD internship, SD1 and SD2 role. So in this video, we are going to discuss in detail what roadmap and strategy you should follow so that uh, you can get the best possible results. So let's uh, head over to our lovely document, uh, Ram Ram. So yeah. Now, guys, this document is very, very important. Okay. So the link to this document is given in the description of the video. Uh, make sure you guys check it out. Okay. So before we start the important procedure, guys, shout out to my student for cracking 25 LP, a programmer analyst job offer and successfully switching from service based company to product based company two, three days back. Congratulations to my student Vivek Haldar. Amar Advani cracked Amazon 25 LP a job offer and Vivek Haldar has cracked the SD internship at Google as well as Amazon just one day back. One to two days back. And then congratulations to my student Shreyash Mahale. He has cracked 28 LPA job offer from Morgan Stanley despite having one year of gap after graduation. Okay. Now this is very, very important. Why? A person is graduated in 2024. Now he does not have any job for one year. Still by using the right strategies and methodologies, he is able to crack 28 LPA job offer Morgan Stanley off campus. So that really deserves a praise. Okay. Now, listen to me very, very carefully. I wanted to show you guys this part. Okay. See, what is the best roadmap for Agoda? Many students are giving Agoda online assessments in 2025. Stay away from the influencer DSA sheets as they consist of easy standard DSA problems, which is not at all enough for cracking hard unseen DSA problems of online assessments of top tech Pangam type companies, top product based startups like PhonePay, Cred, Zomato, Swiggy, Agoda. Indulge yourself in OA plus EP training and lots of practice to be done for hard unseen DSA questions of specific topics of OA plus EP. So guys, uh, what I'm trying to say is that what generally students do is that they do research on internet. They get the standard DSA sheets like Striver sheet, Love Bubble sheet. They do 100 to 100 questions from there and the same questions they submit on LeetCode GFG. They get 100 to 500 count there of easy, medium, standard DSA questions. And they think that their DSA preparation is going good, which is not the truth actually. Okay. So the thing is that the level is the level of DSA, which you have is of easy, medium level only. But if you go and give online assessment of any company in your college or outside of your college, any company giving you more than 10 LPA. Okay. You will see that the OA is being taken on code signal platform or hacker rank platform and often a very big story is written. So your English comprehension skill should be very good. So you understand the large paragraph, large comprehension they have given. Generally, when you do DSA questions from these sheets, the DSA question is only made up of two, three lines. But in the actual examination, hundred lines, many, many words and paragraphs will be there. So number one, English comprehension skill, you need to improve. The second thing which you need to improve, which is really very, very important is that the ability of being able to solve hard and new DSA questions, which you have never seen before. That's why you should practice many online assessment questions, many previous year questions of all the top tech companies. And you should be doing lead code contest, competitive programming, code chef, code forces contest on a regular basis. You really need to improve that part as well. So when you have done hard level stuff also, the things become easy. It's just like preparing mathematics. You guys must have given the mathematics examination in 10th standard, mainly in 12th standard for board exams, right? Do you remember what was the difference in preparing mathematics for J mains, J advanced versus boards? In boards, they ask you easy medium questions, like not even medium, easy level maths questions. And those questions are the same as they are in the textbook, okay? But in J mains, J advanced, the maths and the problem solving questions they ask, they are totally new. Yes, the, you know, some patterns and some tricks will be involved, but ultimately you will have to think from scratch in most of the cases. So same is the way of preparing in DSA. If you do only standard influencer DSA sheets, it means you're doing board level preparation. And if you're doing after doing the basic stuff, if you're doing OA and CP stuff, 
it means you are doing JE mains and JE advanced type of preparation. Hope the analogy is clear to you. So once you are able to crack the OA, then comes the interview. Now in the top tech companies, see for every company, the ratio is different. Some companies are asking 50% standard question, 50% hard questions again, new in the interview. Some have the 40, 60 breakup. Some have the 30, 70 breakup. Companies like Uber and Google have like 10, 90 or 100% towards hard unseen question breakup, even for the interviews. So, so that's it. Hope you guys got the idea. Now what to do? I have a great free course for DSA plus OA plus CP. Just do it and your results will improve in the online assessment. So guys, the thing is that you should complete this best free 51 hour course. Okay. To prepare for any top product based company online assessment. It's totally free. I have taught many topics here very, very nicely guys. I have kept in the mind that I have, I have to do something different. I don't have to teach just, just the standard stuff. I have to teach those type of questions. See Amazon OA, Zscaler OA so that your OA type of thinking skills can be developed. And also the interview questions, the recent companies which they have asked new, new DSA questions, which are not available in any of the standard DSA sheets. That's also I have covered here. So guys, please do that course. It will really, really help you and it's totally free. Just invest your energy and do it now next thing guys if you are someone who wants daily life training by me and wants personalized one-to-one -one mentoring by me and wants direct fangam job reference directly indirectly in whatever way you want basically indirect job reference means see i have many past successful students okay if you go and check my last five year linkedin posts you will understand so because of the past alumni, our job referral support is going very good. And I really love it. Ram, Ram. See, let me uh, show you one more thing. Best roadmap, this thing is clear. Guys, three questions will be asked in Agoda Online Assessment for one hour, 30 minutes. See, in some of the Agoda Online Assessments, I've seen two questions, but mainly I've seen three, three questions. So one hour, 30 minutes will be given to you, 60 to 90 minutes. Okay, so we are, we are assuming the timing to be one hour or more and three coding questions will be given. So as per my prediction, I've always seen the first and second question is in easy, medium level and the third question is in hard level. So how should you approach the test? Not very difficult. The tip number one, let me uh, show it to you from this uh, document only. Test will be conducted on hacker anchor code signal. Do all the previous Agoda online assessment questions from here. So guys, this link has the list of all the previous Agoda OA online uh, OA questions. Read the paragraph and story of the question with calm nerves. Do not get anxious. Read the question text properly. Even if it looks very big, understanding the English comprehension can often lead to a simple DSA solution. Okay. So without any worry, read the full question. Bahut log to starting mein dar jayenge. Itna bada dekke. Aapko padarna hai pura question. Phir aapko answer aa jayega. First and second question is really easy if you have done the basic level DSA. Okay. I can guarantee you that you can solve the first question and second question if you complete my free course of DSA OECP. Who can do this course? Whoever knows the basics of programming can do this course. Okay. You cannot do the course if you don't even know the basics of programming like for loop, if else, basic array strings, basic hash map. Utna coding aana chahi. Uske baadhi mera free course karo, aapko agoda ka first or second question ho jayega. Guarantee. Now, third question will be difficult guys. Okay. So in this video, I am going to tell you that I am not going to do this in the next video, but I am very interested in you. I keep on analyzing the company OA questions all the time. So like I am very very active on Reddit and LeetCode Discuss and platforms like that. Like mainly I keep on checking what is happening with students. So I am very very interested in all those things. Now the important thing which I want to tell you guys is the topics. All the previous year Agoda OA problems we have the list. In this meeting, in this video, I will show you each of the previous year Agoda OA question. We will discuss what topics they were based upon and then we will try to form conclusion ki kaun -kaun se topic se questions zyada aare in Agoda online assessment. So, uh, let's go there. Basically, like today I am a little bit tired as well because I have been doing lots of one-to-one -one mentoring for my students and helping them and analyzing so much. One more important thing which I want to add is in each breath, you should take the name of God, Ram Ram, like this. Why? Because this is the only way for you to reach the ultimate moksha, where you have to go in Amar Lok finally. Okay. Now, going back to the Agoda Online Assessment topic. So, guys, see, 
This question was asked just a few months back in Agoda way. Okay, contractual role, no issues. So this question number one was asked of swapping and adjacent. So if we check, it is based on greedy plus graph connectivity plus sorting logic simulation string lexicographic greedy concept. Okay. Then the second question you can see uh, store offers and items, then discount coupons, price is halving. So this is based on this topic, greedy plus maths plus heaps. Or you can call it as priority queue also because uh, in the online assessment, you are not going to implement the heap, right? You will just use priority queue. Max or mean priority queue depends uh, basically uh, on what uh, is your requirement. Now, uh, question number three, guys, see, you can see a binary matrix. It is a graph based questions. Okay. So graph reversal, DFS, BFS connected component, frequency map, disjoint set union, query optimization using hash map. Guys, then let's check the set four. Set five is done, right? I think we analyzed this. Okay. It was set five, not set six, because I see the name here is set five, change to set five. Earlier, I said the names as one, two, three, four, six. Then I changed the six to five. These are all the questions I could find. Like I have gone through more than 10 to 18 Agoda online assessment problems. So we are analyzing that Agoda is asking the OA questions from which topic so you guys can prepare. Okay. So next thing guys, this problem, right? This is a basic string manipulation problem. So I have written here that it is mapping, encoding, decoding, character, arithmetic, math operation. This is an easy question. Set three. This is a very nice problem guys. Okay. You will require some hashing plus prefix knowledge, prefix suffix knowledge indirectly, not directly. Okay. Indirectly, you will require the knowledge of these things and monotonic stack, greedy stack simulation, reverse traversal array processing, O of N optimization. You can find N login solution, but you will have to optimize to O of N. So why guys, basically what your concept of N are next greater element, previous greater element, next smaller element, previous smaller element. Uske andar hum kabhi kabhi segment tree laga dete hai. Hashing or prefix suffix ka kuch na kuch check karna padta hai. Maintain karna padta hai. So those things, okay. So ye wali cheez ho gai, ye wali cheez ho gai. Set 2 I really really like a lot. Why do I like set 2 so much? So set 2 is a classic observation and binary search on answer question. So you cannot do it directly if you have just memorized a bunch of DSA problems which use binary search on sorted array. No, it's a totally to totally different ball game. So you will have to go through this to understand what's happening here. Okay. It's a binary search on answer plus greedy concepts mixed in it. Also load balancing optimization and array partitioning. Those are basic things like those are just the keywords, but the main thing is by the search on answer and greedy questions. It's again a hard unseen DSA problem. Then if I talk about set one, this is also a string manipulation and coding decoding problem. Okay. Clear. And this first question also involved like the set five first question also involved string lexicographic greedy concept. So guys, what is the conclusion? That if you are my YouTube community student, you should complete this playlist. My dynamic programming for DSA OACP covering everything. See, in any other playlist you go, they will either teach you dynamic programming for interview level stuff or a little bit CP level stuff. But I have taught dynamic programming covering all three segments. Interview of all top tech companies, online assessments of all top tech companies and competitive programming questions. So please do my dynamic programming course. 60 hour videos are there in this link. So if you do it, you will be confident. Then you should do greedy guys. Greedy is a very, very big thing. People generally don't lay importance to greedy, but the greedy concept in OACP is very difficult. You need to know where to sort, how to sort the sorting comparator, then the mathematical exchange argument. So it will be very good if you check it out. Next thing, let me show it to you. Binary set. I said that binary set is very important. You should do free ka kar lena hai par. Or hashing prefix suffix optimization plus thinking wali uh, free YouTube playlist yaha se kar lena. Or string plus greedy plus lexicographic playlist ka isme content hai to kar lena. If you are a core student watching my video, you know on all these topics there are more than 100 hour videos in your 851 hour course. So just do them. My predictions are question 1 easy, question 2 medium, question 3 hard. So guys, if you want after the test for me to upload the OA solutions of Agoda, OA, okay. You can let me know in the comments and make sure you like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions like, sir, what to do for placement and things like that, 
you can always ask me in the comments i will always reply promptly and yeah you can check the link for one to one mentoring day life training and job referral code program also because of the nice results it's generating and the discount offer ram ram